hi everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to do a assignment on how to use the Manning's equation so this is going to be a relatively simple assignment there are two problems in this assignment the first problem involves computing the discharge and we are given all the properties channel properties and and other physical properties that we need um, the problem also mentions how the river bed looks like so for example here it says it has gravels cobbles and few boulders so in practice usually you don't have the mannings in so this is the information then you have and then you use some references to get the mannings in so in this case i have given you the mannings n which is 0 0.06 but when we do the a crash lab I will I will show you some references that you can use to get the Mannings in for the channel that you're interested in okay so let's get started so the equation that we have for Mannings in is so in this case we are given um, everything is in meters so Q will be in meter Q per second so the equation that we have so we don't need that 1.486 so we just go with 1 over n um, r raised to 2 over 3 s raised to half and if we are interested in discharge we multiply this by area so area times 1 over n r raised to 2 over 3 s half so let's find out area hydraulic radius slope is given to us n is given to us so this is given this is given let's get the area and the hydraulic radius so the area is the trapezium area so this is four bottom width is four so this is four so this entire top width is eight meters so the area of trapezoid is the average of the two sides times the height so this will be 4 plus 8 divided by 2 times 0 0.5 so that comes to 12 divided by 2 is 6 6 times 5.5 is 3 meters square okay and then we need the perimeter so to get the perimeter we need to find out what this side is so this this is 0 0.5 this is 2 so we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find that so I'm just going to call this X so X will be square root of 2 square plus 0 0.5 square I have done this for you so that comes to about 2.06 meter so once we know x the weighted perimeter is going to be 4 plus the two inclined sides so 2 times 2.06 so this will be 4 plus 4.12 so this is 8.12 meter okay so once you have all this information so q is going to be area is 3 times 1 over n n is 0 0.06 times r to the power of 2 thirds so r is a over p i'm going to have you calculate that 2 third and s is 0 0.0 this is 0 0.03 3 and whatever you get is in meter cube per second so this is it so this is how you can use the Mannings equation to get the discharge um, the next problem that we have is now we are given the discharge and we are asked to find the flow depth so we are asked to find y um, and uh, it's a rectangular channel so this is how it looks 
so the bottom width is two feet and this is y and q is 9.26 cfs and s naught slope is 0 0.025 and is 0 0.015 okay so for rectangular channel a is equal to b times y so b is given y we have to find out so a is going to be 2y so the perimeter is 2 plus 2y okay so we don't know why so I'm just going to erase that equal to sign here and then hydraulic radius is going to be a over p so 2y divided by 2 plus 2y so we can simplify this so this is 1 so y over 1 plus y okay so once we have that then q is equal to area times velocity so area is 2y so velocity is the Manning's expression so in this case we are dealing with English units so this is 1.486 divided by n which is 0 0.015 times r to the power of two thirds so r in this case is y over y plus one two third so s is zero point zero two five half okay and q is nine point two six okay so once you do all this you end up with an expression um, that is <coughs> 31.33 times y to the power of 5 over 3 so there is y here and then there is y to the power of 2 thirds so when you in uh, include both y's you end up with y to the power of 5 third and then you have y plus 1 2 third so all you have to do is solve for y and you will see that it is not easy to solve by using a simple calculator so you will need a solver or you will need solver or some sort of computer program to solve this so you solver So those of you who haven't used solver so this will be in Microsoft Excel use MS Excel solver to find Y okay so Y will be in feet so this is how you can again use Manning's equation to calculate flow depth uh, if you know the discharge okay so i hope you were able to follow both these questions and if you have any questions um, feel free to email me and this is it for this assignment thank you and bye